In this video, we're going to do the final test, hardware test and implementation of the coding for Arduino with the BMS. And so we'll take you through the hardware setup here and running the system with Arduino with a serial output monitor. Things you want to make sure you have is an adjustable power supply. And since we're going to be testing two cells to see the balance between the two to start off, we set our power supply voltage to be 8.4 volts for the 4.2 volts times two. And we also have a voltmeter to manually check our voltages of our battery. And so I've just checked this manually and the BV1 is this dark green cell. That's at 4.10 volts and the greenish cell is at 3.90 volts. So it's a good test where the voltages are at to see how our BMS circuit's working here. Just a, a, a video overview of the circuitry. We have the Arduino here connected to our bank of eight relays. And then we have the voltage sensors here, which are voltage dividers. You can see the small two resistors there. And they're connected to the resistors. These are 100 watt uh, power resistors. And they're attached to this aluminum board I have here just to make sure on the cork pad. They're not going to be getting hot at this uh with these small batteries, but for larger batteries, they'll get hotter. And then we have two 18650 batteries. We'll start by inserting these USB to power up the Arduino here. And then we want to open a serial monitor. And now our program is running because we already uploaded it. So we have BV1 reading 4.08 and BV2 at 3.86. And the charging relay has been connected because BV2 is below 4.08. So you can see there it just stopped. Now we got another reading. So after stabilization, we're at 4.10 and 3.89. And we're charging again. So what will happen now is the circuit will keep charging with brakes to check the voltage until the BV1 reaches a higher voltage than 4.12. And so we'll let this run for a minute and check in. Okay, charging stopped, allowing for voltages to stabilize. And now it's discharging BV1, the first battery, because even though it says 4.10, at one point it was over the threshold. So there you go, BV1 was just drained to 4.05 volts after a six second stabilization. And now we're back to charging both cells in series. This charging discharge process will keep running and the cells will keep being balanced. You can see now we're at 4.08 and 3.94 for BV2. So BV2 started at 3.90 and now it's up to 3.94. And occasionally we will break past the 4.12 volts for BV1, requiring that to be discharged. And then the circuit will again charge both at the same time. So you can see the relays here will keep turning on and off. Right now the charging relay is on, that was that blue light there. That's the seventh charging circuit, charger turned off. And now it's back on. So it's just cycling on and off until we discharge through the first relay there for the first battery across the first resistor. To show what happens when we get to near the end of charge, I've replaced the battery that was at 3.9 volts with one nearly fully charged at 4.05 volts. And so now the system is running and we'll show you what happens when we get to that near, near fully charged. You can see both cells are at 4.08, so we're getting very close to our desired balanced charge. And when it's charging, it's pulling very little current here because there isn't much charge left to, to happen. So a little bit of variation occasionally, 4.10 volts, 4.06 volts. And also you notice that the duty cycle is lower when we get nearly charged than it was before things are, the delays are lower and lower because of that delay factor. Finally, the voltages have stabilized 
And you can see here we are at 4.08 volts for each battery. And we get the message that balancing and charging is complete. All cells are between 4.08 and 4.12 volts. So now the charger is at rest and they are balanced.